Alright guys, Master Xeon again, and I'm back. Um, on part four, we're going to go ahead and add in some eyeballs, because, you know, what's creepier than anything is having these scorpion eyes. He doesn't even have pupils in him, so let's go ahead and add some. Um, first thing we're going to do is hold down is uh, Control S, save, Control N, new file. New file, X, delete everything, make the resolution 500, 500, drag that to 100, circle, fill, top view, shift A, camera, G, Z, Z, alright. And I'm just dragging that up the Z axis. So in case you're wondering, it's a real simple picture. It's just a circle on top of another circle. And if we choose shadeless, make it black, that looks kind of like an eye. We select all of these, choose W subdivide, one, two, bring up that fractal. Alright, that will do. We'll add a subsurf. Now we're going to run a couple of just quick tests, real quick, on this one. We're going to give it a material, make it blue. Everyone in anime's eyes are blue or green. And we'll have it jump from blue to like this fuchsia. And we'll come and add a and texture. We're actually going to turn just for a moment. We're going to turn transparency off. All right. Sorry about that. And we'll go down here to color. Check alpha. And let's see what we got. All right, and that's already I can tell it's gonna look fantabit, fantastic. Actually looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna go into colors, ramp, choose F. Okay, F does nothing, and F actually is supposed to flip it. And by playing with these, we can control how much is revealed or hidden. Let's see. We get close to the end. It starts to get pretty sharp. going to be below. We're going to bring that one down. And on this one. And I just put one underneath it, made it not invisible, so it's underneath the uh, original one. Um, but as you can see, that one needs transparency too. Maybe we should scale it out as well. I'm just experimenting here. All 
All right, so we need to go back and start adjusting on this one. scene background black that way all we have is that but we need like I guess some eye spikes so circle 24 edge 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 Let's go in this view. Um, Just gonna make these uh, black. Hmm. Don't know about the ice bikes, mm. but what I do know is that. And I just made a single user. Sorry about the amount of time I'm taking on this. Um, just trying to find that right medium. And that'll do it. And we'll call this Iris. I misspelled it did on purpose. You know, I'm pretty satisfied with that. So I'm going to skip compositing it. Or actually, no. Let's see what we can do to it. Let's just start off with a color ramp. Right now I'm just messing around so there's no real plan here. Like maybe make it look a little more. Um
attach this. We're going to go ahead and put this one here. We're going to multiply it. Multiply it is uh, good for sometimes separating the blacks from the whites like that. Um, and I just basically just created this one to subtract the black to from this one. And and maybe here at the and we can add a filter and that'll do that is an iris for me like I said it's just an animate character so and it's already saving it um, basically I changed this to show viewer node um, the way you connect them is by control clicking and your viewer node will automatically move to that one and I'm in this window and I just press F3 change it from Targa because I don't want it to be like 5 megs and call it iris and that's it for this file I'm going to save the file just because um, it was a pretty good I file and first thing I notice is that my view looks awful there we go now it's like this actually let's do something about these I'll just shift select them and pressing.